starting with my settings, most important setting is your graphics tab. On demand texturing, I have off. A lot of people I know that have it on have a lot of crashes in the game. They have lag spikes, they have packet loss. I have this off and I have never had an issue. While with motion blur, I have off and off. The reason this is off is when it's on and you move left and right, you will see blur. You want it to be as sharp as possible so you can react faster. So if you have the setting off, once again, there is zero blur and you can see everything clear as day. Film grain, make sure this is at zero. Depth of field, make sure the setting is off. It is the exact same as motion blur. Fidelity effects, once again, I have this setting on off. A lot of people I know have this setting on. It does make the game look a little sharper. 120 hertz refresh rate, I have on. Only applies if you have a next gen console and you have a 120 hertz monitor. Make sure this is on if you have the ability. Field of view, FOV, I use 120. This is 60 field of view, as you guys can see. This is 60 field of view. It looks fine. This is 70 field of view. The difference in 10 field of view now lets you see the top of that window which you would not be able to see before if you were on 60. 80 field of view you can see both windows at the top corner and you can also see a third window at the top which again if you were on 60 field of view you would never have seen any of that. 90 field of view you guys can see both the three windows at the far right. You can also see the top window. 100 field of view once again you can see the very far right doorway. You can see the very far left corner of the building. You can see all of the windows. This is the difference between 60 and 100. Most people will not go past 100. 100 to 103 is what most people normally use. However, the more I can see, the faster I will be because I can react quicker. So I will be using 120. 120 field of view, as you guys can see the difference between 60 and 120. ADS field of view and weapon field of view, make sure this is independent and wide. It doesn't matter what your field of view is, make sure this is independent and wide. Third person field of view, I have 90. Vehicle field of view, I have wide. First person camera movement, 50%. Less shake, the better. Third person camera movement, the less shake the better. Third person ADS transitioning, this is dependent on the person. Default spectator camera, I will be using game perspective. Search and destroy, it's really important to see what your teammates are doing rather than a third person view. Brightness, I will be using 52. Anything higher than 52 or more than 50% is going to give you a concussion. If you guys want to see what a flashbang looks like, this is 100. This is why I use 52. My audio mix, I will be using headphone bass boost. I feel like I can hear footsteps the best using this setting. Master volume, I have it 60. Once again, this should be 100. The only reason it's 60 is because I'm a streamer and I don't want the game being louder than me. Music volume, I have on zero. Anything higher than zero, you will hear music over the enemy's footsteps. Do not have this setting on. Dialogue volume, I have on 50%. Anything louder is going to over talk your footsteps. Effects volume, once again, it should be on 100. And if master volume is 100, effects will be 100 too. Hit marker volume, I have on 60. This is very optional. Mono audio, make sure this is off. Subtitles, I have off. Voice chat on. Last words, voice chat on. Proximity chat on. Voice chat device is my microphone. Open mic threshold, 45. Voice chat volume, 80. Microphone volume, 14. Mute yourself when connecting off. Juggernaut music off. Hit marker sound effects, I have on classic. Reduce tinnitus sound on. Now to the controller settings. Make sure you choose controller and not quick settings. Starting with controller, what's again I'm a controller player so this will be controller. Button layout I have default. Flip L1, L2, R1 and R2 I have off. In the past everybody would use this as on so you could shoot faster however there is a new setting they added where it will not matter. Stick layout preset make sure this is default. Controller vibration make sure this is off. Any vibration will be a distraction. Trigger effect this applies for PlayStation 5 controllers make sure this is off or it will stop you from holding down your triggers. Horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical stick sensitivity I use 20 and 20. Once again, if you guys are not used to 20, a lot of you guys will not be. The higher it is, the harder it is to control. Use whatever sensitivity you use. Let's say you use 11 and 11 and once you're confident with it, go up by one each time. So whatever your horizontal and vertical sensitivity are, make sure they're the exact same number. The way I got used to 20 was going up from 10 to 11 to 12, taking a couple of days each time until I work my way up to 20. The highest sensitivity means I can react the fastest and I can compete against some of the best. Sensitivity multiplier, show more. I have one, 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 one. Vertical aim axis, standard, 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 standard. Aim down sight behavior, I have as hold. Change zoom shared input, I have sprint tactical sprint focus. Focus behavior, I have as hold. Automatic sprint, I have the setting automatical tactical sprint. This makes it so I can sprint into fast movement. Once again, I move forward and I am always ready to move as fast as possible. Equipment behavior, I have as hold. Weapon mount activation, I have aim down sight plus melee. It's easy to mount down, you aim, you mount. Interact reload behavior, I have 
have is prioritize interact. This makes it so you can loot faster without having to hold down square or X every single time. Armor plate behavior I have is apply all. Target aim assist. If you're a controller player, make sure this is on. This seems very obvious, but some people have it off without realizing. Aim assist type I have as precision. A lot of people have been told to use focusing, black ops, default. Trust me, I have done this setting video for two years in a row now, and I have been right every time. If you're sniping, use precision. It is quite literally aimbot. Gyro behavior. I could go into depth on this setting, but this is very confusing. Just make sure this setting is off. Aim response curve type. I have dynamic. Once again, some people use linear and standard. Trust me on dynamic. I have been right two years in a row. This setting is going to help. ADS sense multiplier focus. I have on one. ADS sensitivity transitioning timing. I have as instant. Custom sensitivity presume. I have on. ADS sense give it a multiplier low zoom all the way down to high zoom I have a 0 0.9 a little bit slower than 20 sensitivity when I'm aiming down sight seems to work well for me input dead zone is one of the most important settings the reason this is important is because there is a thing called stick drift left stick min right stick min the recommended setting is 0, 0.00 this is on 0, 0 left stick input and right stick input and as you guys can see my controller is stick drifting once again you guys want to work as close to zero as possible until you have no stick drift 0. 0.04 works for me where I can move and there is zero stick drift. If you still stick drift on 0.04, make sure you go higher. Once again, left stick max and right stick max is exactly the same. The best setting is 100. Once again, I have stick drift. I go to 0.95 because I go down by 0.05. L2 button dead zone and R2 button dead zone, I have on both zero. That means the moment you push the triggers, the bullet fires. Sprint tactical sprint behavior is on toggle. Auto move forward, I have as off. Tactical sprint behavior, I have as double tap. Tap. Grounded mantle, make sure the setting is off. There's going to be moments where you jump and it's going to make you climb. You want to have this setting off. Automatic airborne mantle, once again, I have this off as well. If you accidentally fall, it will make you climb when you do not want to climb. Make sure this is off. Automatic ground mantle, once again, if you're running into a direction, it will accidentally make you climb. Make sure this is off. Invert slide and dive behavior, make sure this is inverted. You will see nobody talk about this in their settings video. This means that when you're running, all you need to do is tap to slide, which will make you dive instead. Dolphin diving is really important in this game so if you want to be able to take advantage make sure this is on inverted. Plunging underwater I have set as movement. Parachute auto deploy I have off. This is really important for warzone. Sprinting door bash I have this as on. Wedge hang mantle behavior I have as mantle only. ADS stick swap I have as off. Backpack alternate control I have as off. Weapon mount movement exit I have as on. Weapon mount exit delay I have long. Depleted ammo weapon switch make sure this is off. Quick C4 detonation this is very handy to have on. On. Vehicle, camera of a center, short delay, camera initial position, free look, ping wheel delay, moderate, double tap danger ping delay, moderate. Interface, I have menu is default, default, 20, medium. Color customization, super important. A lot of people do not talk about this enough. I use color filter to color filter target, both. World color intensity, 75. Interface color intensity, 100. Now my HUD color palette has been changed. For me, I have chose a brighter yellow, so I stand out on the map. Team and party, I've made the same color because I don't want lots of different colors on the screen. Enemy, I have as a light red. Once again, having a bright enemy target is very important so you can see the enemy easier. The neutral ping and contested I have is black. Once again whatever colour you choose for this will determine which colour your ping is. For my ping colour I like to have it black. Subtitles I have off. Anything popping up on the screen is a distraction. Minimap shape square. Minimap rotation on. Horizontal compass on. Crosshair is 100% on. Crosshair bobbin I have on. Some people have this setting off. I think on is more precise. Hit marker visuals I have on. Damage based hit markers I have on. Player names I have full names so I can see the entire enemy's name name on the screen. Vehicle HUD prompts, I have fade after 5 seconds. Helimantry, I have all off. Connection meter, off. Game tips, off. Tool tips, on. Parallelix effects, on. Center dot, off. Some people like to have a dot on their screen. Account and network, I have crossplay and crossplay communication, both on. Content filters, I have text chat, on. Profanity filter, on. Dismemberment and gore effects, I have on. And that is all of my settings. If you guys have any questions, make sure to go down in the comment section. The pinned comment will have any new settings that they add into the game if they add any new ones or if any of them are changed.